the lounge of the Godfather of the West Coast Hip Hop. This is how we do it every Tuesday when my man Dusty Vision will be on shortly. Right about now, I'm just getting warmed up here, just getting the audience a chance to come in and join us. And like I say every week, y'all, from the West Coast to the East Coast and everything in between, folks, you're from the eve after dark to picnics in the park, you're live with your boy Lonzo, the godfather of West Coast hip hop. And this is how we do it, folks. This is how we do it. Uh, we got some hot shows coming up, right? Hot topics coming up today. And as soon as my man gets online, we're going to be right online. This is the only thing about being live sometimes. You have to kind of wing it a little bit, but I got experience in that, so ain't no problem. Uh, in the meantime, hope everybody's having a good holiday, folks. Uh, hope all your holidays, are, your holidays are being fine so far. Hope you're dealing with the corona the best way you possibly can because you know the corona uh, ain't no joke by no means. So please take care of yourself. Wear your mask whenever possible. And uh, don't let nobody tell you different. Do it for you if nobody else, okay? Uh, do it for you if nobody else. And that's what I got to say about that. Let me see where I can get my man online right quick. Make sure he got the proper information because sometimes we have those miscommunications. And uh want to make sure he's online. Uh, let me see here. Let me check my feed. Not yet, not yet, not yet. All right, though. Um, hey, folks, there's a lot of things going on in hip hop this week. Uh, it's the holiday season. We're almost at the end of a new year. Uh, it's been going down for folks all around the world. And uh, every Tuesday, well, mostly every Tuesday, me and my boy Arnold from Dusty Vision get together and do a recap of the, of the uh, previous week. Uh, whether it be entertainment, sports, hip hop, whatever the case may be, he gets an opinion from the grandmaster, and uh, sometimes I get an opinion from him. We exchange ideas and we make things happen. That's how we do it. So, um, if you are into the information that we're about to display, or about to disseminate, please, folks, stick around. It's about to go down in just a minute here on uh, Live with Lonzo on Tuesdays, y'all. This is how we do it. All right, folks. All right, look here. This is how I'm going to do it for a minute. When my man uh, comes online, we're going to start talking. We're going to get it jumped off right quick, folks. There you go. There you go. Much love to you. Much love to you. I see you. I see you. I'm bringing you in, Doc. I'm bringing you in. He rubbing his hands. He can't wait to get online today. What up, Doc? <laughs> what up, brother? Hanging out, man. How you feeling today? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. The BS is thick this week, man. We got a lot. Oh, man, you got, to, you got to wear an umbrella to be BS proof around here these days, boy. Man, it is raining <laughs> <Umbrella. yet. laughs> you Everything else good with you? Yeah, man. Had a good Christmas. You know, kind of low-key. Didn't do much. Just hung out with a few of the family. Didn't get too crazy. And I'm still COVID-free. That's so good. Really good, man. How was yours? Man, you know, so far I can't complain, man. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm COVID-free. Been COVID-free. I, but I think, man... I suspect I may have had a touch of COVID, man. In the very, very beginning, mm -hmm. I had some weird things going on with my body. And I remember distinctly that um, I was sneezing and coughing so bad at one time doing one of my Toastmasters meetings. They threw me out. Mr. President, you got to go. So um, I do believe I've had yeah. it. I, had it. I may have had some of them weaker symptoms. I know my buddy had it. I may have contracted it from him on, mm. the, on the tail end. But other than that, man, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm just bored as hell, man. That's why I do all these shows, dude. I'm bored as hell. Got to stay busy, man. Got to stay busy. I hear you, man. Well, they're saying there's another strain uh, that was found in the UK last uh, last couple of weeks. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's supposed to be 70% more, uh, more contagious. And here's the kicker. I just read a news story about two hours ago that we had our first case in Colorado. What? Yep. So a new strain of COVID, man. Is this thing ever going to end? You know, man. I think I, I, not enough people are taking it serious. I uh, I was hanging out Sunday for a hot minute. I oh, told we recording, by the way. We're recording, right? Yeah, yeah we're okay, recording. Cool. Always recording. I was Go hanging on. out Sunday for a hot minute down at Lemur Park, mm 
And uh, I felt odd because I'm one of the few people who had a mask on, man. I'm like, hey, folks, uh, where y'all mask at? Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, so I, uh, you know, I, I do it for me. You know, if nobody else. I do it for me. I got to give a shout out to all my folks online. I see my boy Mark Mark Smith in the house, John Wick in the house, Pimp Players and Hustlers Network are always in the house. And my good refrigerator fixing partner, Willie Nelson. Uh, uh, ain't nothing broke lately, but I, I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bunch of my boys on, on here from uh, from high school, man, and some of my other friends. So okay. they support the show all the time. I appreciate that. Uh, what we got today, man? Well, man, let's uh, let's start from the beginning, man. Like I said, there's a lot, lot to talk about. Um, first things first, Jermaine Dupree, multi-platinum. Selling a uh, producer, rapper, mogul, all of the above. He caught hell this past week for comments he made after a shooting in Atlanta. And I'm going to read the comments to his, his tweet, and I would love for your, your comment on it. Jermaine Dupree says, and he's getting a lot of shit for this. If you really from the A, it's time for us to come together and stop all this shooting shit at Lennox and now Phipps. These are malls. Uh, the police need to get tougher the profiling needs to go to code red, and I can give an F about y'all getting mad about me saying this. Little kids getting shot is whack. And he got sh a lot of crap for this. What are your thoughts on that? You know what, man? Uh, sometimes, man, you got to, you got you got to be a you got to stand up and be a man. All that street code stuff, it it, it don't it don't pay, man. It don't when kids is getting shot in the mall, dude. When kids are getting shot, that means you don't give a fuck, okay? You don't give an F about nobody. All you care about is your 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 beef or whatever the case may be. And I will bet you, man, I'll bet you nine times out of ten, the beef that they're fighting about, in most cases, not all, most cases, not all, is some bullshit. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's the part that really makes it use makes it really frustrating when you go to the root of the problem and you see that, you know, you shooting at him, he's shooting at her, you miss her, hit hit this kid, and this is what y'all, this is what it started to be for? Come on, man. And yeah. it's really, it's really in, irresponsible for anybody to think that it's okay to shoot in malls. Okay. Why does why does the public have to be involved in your problems? Yeah. Why you have to, why is everything have to be done uh for the gram, for uh for Twitter, Twitter, TikTok, yeah. whatever the case may be? It's not, dude, it makes no sense, man. It makes no sense whatsoever. And I would demand Jermaine Dupree if you got to step and see this is a this goes back to this, Come goes, on back, this goes back to Joe Biden in 1994. Okay, uh -huh. when brothers was out of control, mm -hmm. when they was out of control, it was a whole lot of people feeling like oh what they did was good was a good move. Okay, it's the same thing Jermaine Dupree is saying right now, dude. Y'all out of control. Y'all yep. causing too much problem. Too many problems in public places. Innocent people are getting hurt over y'all beefs. Okay, and it was the same exact sentiment back in 1994 mm -hmm. when they pulled that had that crime bill, and they say brothers got locked up. All oh, brothers got separated from their families. Yeah, right. but I tell you what, the ultimate the ultimate family separator is the bullet in the head. Exactly. Okay, as we looked up and last time we talked, we realized it was. 3,000 plus brothers got killed in 1994. The, mm -hmm. the year they, um, they, um, they signed the crime bill, which mm -hmm. the future president, Joe Biden, was a big part of. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I remember, man, I'm sorry. Uh, I remember, I remember very vividly that people were crime bill. And here we go back to 2020. Brothers are out of control in certain areas. And you're not respecting nothing. You ain't respecting no codes, no nothing, no nobody else's lives. It's all about what you want to do. You feel like you have the right to shoot people in public places. And if your bullets, <clears throat> if your bullets miss and hit an innocent bystander, so what? Okay, you're going to jail anyway. So why is it multiple people have to suffer from your ignorance? That makes no sense, man. I, I support Jermaine Dupree on that 110. Yeah. Yeah, I have to agree with that. And I interview a lot of OGs on my show, as I've mentioned before, guys in their 40s, 50s, 60s. And they said that just what you said about a minute ago, you said there's no code. He uh, Specifically, I was chatting with a gentleman who's in his 50s. And he said back in 1990, let's say 1989, 1990, if you're walking through the, the mall 
and you see your enemy with walking through the mall with his wife and his baby or something like that, he gets a pass. You look at him, you let him know, you let him know look, I could have got you, but I'm not going to get you because you're with your family. Nowadays, in 2021, they are shooting at all three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And dude, that ain't that's no way for nobody to live, man. And that's dude, that's foul. The straight mm-hmm. foul. Yeah, that's straight foul. Babies involved in your bullshit. Come mm-hmm. on, man. Yeah, man, it's scary, dude. Yeah. So, and, and, and and LA, uh, I just read it's official that 2020 Los Angeles has had the highest number of homicides in over a decade. Now it's only 300, not compared to what we were talking about back in 1992, the 2500 right. plus. But 300 is a lot of homicides in for a, Los in, Angeles. In in a in a uh, what a seven day period, you say? No, 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 no. This is this is what this is the in 2020. There there okay. were 300 homicides in Los Angeles. Okay. Which sounds a little, but it's it's the most we've had in 10 years. But I and, think it was, I think it was like 27 in the last 10 days or something. I read wasn't it? Oh really? In L.A.? Wow. I believe I believe I read somewhere it was 27 in the last few days, man. Damn, okay. we're going backwards, dude. It's going to be 1992 all over again if we don't do something. Well, I'm looking at at my, at my chat feed right now, and my man John Wick says a uh, 14 year old was killed uh, Christmas night in the Walgreens around the crib, and I think he's in he's in uh, Louisiana. Mm. Yeah, he's in, he's he's in New Orleans. Okay, that's a, that's from New Orleans. So. Walgreens, come on, man! You can't go to Walgreens. What? What is it that makes shooting people in public so attractive? Especially with all these cameras everywhere. Every, everywhere. <laughs> dude, there's cameras everywhere. I got a camera in my truck just when I'm driving down the street, just for the hell of it. Mm-hmm. Everybody got cameras in their pockets. Every street light is a camera. Every bank has ATM cameras. Every gas station has cameras. Every liquor store has cameras. So why would you choose to be some brazen fool in 2020 with all this technology working against you? It makes no sense. Yep, yep. And here's the kicker. The, the kicker is when they actually pull out their own damn camera and record the crime that they're doing themselves. That's uh, that the fool you sent me earlier today. The one that got. Oh I'm man, we got to talk about this. I, I just on. posted. I, I did a show on this. About six hours ago, it's already at eleven thousand views on my channel. So this is like the top topic right now. Everybody's talking about this. Um, so there's this IG. They call them influencers now, right? If you get over a certain amount of followers, you're an influencer. But uh, he was killed in Lakewood, California, which is not the roughest area. I, I, no. I live, well, not the roughest area. Um, but this guy was like a turned up version of Takashi Six Nine, Alonzo. And I'll explain to all your 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 um your people out there what he was doing. He would literally go to neighborhoods. He would go to Hoover. He would go to Nickerson Gardens. He would go to Rolling Sixties Hood. He would hop out of his car, have somebody record him for about 10, 15 seconds saying, F your hood, I'm the king of LA, blah, 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 spitting on their graffiti, spray painting over their graffiti to and just doing the most, literally going from hood to hood to hood. And he was becoming pretty popular on Instagram. Um, well, they found him dead in Lakewood, California, it, it right, pretty much right in front of his house. So it's like, dude, you're putting your – and he's recording himself doing this. So everybody knows his face. Everybody knows what this dude looks like. How do you expect to walk around Los Angeles doing this in every neighborhood? Um, that's somebody who had a death wish, man. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I could think of. You're talking about somebody has a death wish, and you know they figure they're gonna go out with a blaze of glory. And uh, John Wick said the same thing: Je- death wish. Mm-hmm. Okay, the same thing. Do somebody have the death wish? And um, they don't care that it has to be some type of mental illness that makes you want to be an influencer in such a negative way that you're willing to give your life for something that's not even worth it, dude. It's not worth it, man. A bunch of you, likes. That's a bunch it. of likes, okay? A bunch of likes. You're getting, you getting likes and, mm-hmm. and maybe a few shares, but you're also getting a gang of enemies. Mm-hmm. Getting a mm-hmm. gang of enemies. You don't know. They don't have no idea who may have killed that kid, man. Mm-hmm. It, could be, it, it could, the, literally be, could literally be anyone. Literally could be anyone. I saw the video. I saw the video that you sent to me, and the whole time I'm sitting there going, "Wow, mm-hmm. how big a fool can you?" I I know guys that tried that back in the day, 
um, just going to one hood, trying to flex on one hood, mm. didn't make it. Oh. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. So, um, and in Lakewood, now, if anybody on my feed no, don't know what Lakewood is in California. Lakewood is just shy of Mayberry. Okay, it's right next to Cerritos, the most whitest Asian city around. They're still Lakewood white. Lakewood is right, just shy of Mayberry. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, they got they, they got. I, I don't know of any. Uh, I There's can't think of one any. block. There's one block right next to Long Beach because it does. It's on the tail end of Long Beach. There's one okay. block where there's apparent, apparently where that's most of the crime where the crime happens, but 99% of that city is Mayberry. Uh, it's Mayberry, you got the mall. I mean, it's at, back in the day when the streets of Compton and LA was hot as hell, that's where all the cool folks ran to Lakewood. That's where you saw the movies at. You can go to Lakewood and see the movies because right across the street from the theater is the police, okay? Mm -hmm. Yep, and no shooting. There ain't gonna be no shooting at Lakewood. No, but I tell you what though, there was one club that right there across the street from the police, mm -hmm. I mean, literally, I know across the street from the police station. Yep, and that's just, um, it, it was right it, next to Flood Ruckers. It was right next to right Flood, Flood Ruckers. It was the yep. hottest club, and my boy, my boy Ernest ran it for years. I remember and that. At one point in time, man, it got to the point where, dude, they you didn't want to about the police. Mm -hmm. At yeah. one point in time, it was like, no, fuck yep. the police. <laughs> okay, I, man. Know, I remember. And, and I remember, I used, to, I used to try to go there and pass out flyers to my events, man. And they'd have police in the parking lot. They have security guards, and shit still would jump off. There would be yeah. so many people there, man. It would just, it would just be massive. It would just be massive, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. That's about the only area. And that's right where the hood, quote unquote, the hood is, because that it's right next to Long Beach. Yes, but, sir. And like yeah. I said before, um, you can walk Lakewood Street. Now you might mm -hmm. get there by the police, mm -hmm. but Lakewood is a good looking city. It's well maintained. Uh, the mall ain't no joke. It's, it's plenty of places to eat. It's it's, it's a well known place because it has dozens of places to eat. Has a decent mall. You got a Costco right there. And dude, I mean, I ain't know even had no gangs in Lakewood. Did he? Nope. Nope. There nope. is no established gang. There are no established gangs in Lakewood. I wanted to buy in Lakewood about four years ago. I wanted to buy my house in Lakewood, but that's it's just too expensive. Yeah. It's a yeah. great neighborhood. Yeah. So yeah. I had to move my ass a little bit further south. <laughs> it, it keeps you financially segregated. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's financial yeah. segregation because it, it costs you about eight hundred thousand plus. And then man, even the big houses. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. No, you got you if, you if you go to Cerritos, it's a whole different situation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well, yeah, man, I just hope no, I, I don't, I know others are going to follow in his footsteps. It just seems like that Takashi turned some shit on in people and people are trying to top that. It's like when you start up here, you only just keep topping Well, that. you know, nobody dealt with, the, nobody dealt with Takashi, man. Takashi mm -hmm. got away with it. With, he, he acted like, he acted a fool, got away with uh, the whole situation. And I guess people like figure in the home, because I was listening to homeboy what he was saying, y'all ain't gonna do nothing, y'all ain't mm -hmm. gonna do nothing. And, and, and in some cases, you get away with it, okay? And you know, somebody might have seen the video for two or three days later, you're already gone, they don't know where you're at. But somebody caught him slipping when he uh was in his car, I believe it was. Yep, <clears throat> yeah, he was in his yep. car, and uh, man, I, 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 my prayers go out to the family, but mm -hmm. dude, somebody should talk to him a long time ago. Yep, yep. And, like you, said, and, and that's, that's the crazy part, man. You can't tell a lot of these fools what they shouldn't be doing when they think they win it. Okay? Mm -hmm. They think they win it. Okay? They think they win it because they got a few they got a few uh few hundred thousand subscribers Instagram page or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Dude, he he lost. Only people in the mm -hmm. world. We're the only people in the world. That play games where everybody lose. Mm. We're the only people yeah. that I can think of that play games because people yeah. will tell you I was part of the game. It was part of the game, okay? But how was he going to win? Yeah. Was there any winning in this game? He may have been winning temporarily on his Instagram page, made him a hot Instagram topic, made him a hot you know street topic. Oh, that fool was over here. That fool was over there. That fool was. Over there. He loving it. He loving the attention. Mm -hmm. The boy should have got some hugs as opposed to all them damn, all them spray paint and disrespecting people's um, territory like that, man. 
You yeah. Know, 20, 25, 30 years ago, there would have been a bigger homie to say, what, what the hell are you doing, dummy? Yeah. Well, you're paying attention. Yeah. Oh, man. He would have, have yeah. Wow. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, man. So like he said, uh, condolences to his family, because I'm sure he left a family member behind that's crying about it right now because of his dumbass decisions. Um, mm. But I talked about Takashi 6 9 man. We uh, we had a, he, he peeped his hole out of his little rat hole this week when a little dirt released an album um, okay. and it didn't sell as many copies as everybody's supposed to say, you know, it still did its thing, but it didn't sell as many. And Takashi six, nine had some words for Lil Dirk. Well, Lil Vaughn, a uh, King Vaughn uh, basically said, he told him to rest in pee. Yeah. I, I don't want to say the word cause it's one of those trigger words for, for uh, YouTube, but it's not peace. He said, rest in pit. I understand. Yeah. And yeah, what are your thoughts on that, man? Takashi uh, bringing his his uh, little head out. He's a king of disrespect. Okay, mm -hmm. he, he is the ultimate king of disrespect when it comes to going to people's hoods and communities. But he has the money to get protected. Okay, exactly. When he rolls, you know the camera the camera is focused on him. If you don't see if you had a a, a surround, or to call it a. 360 camera, uh -huh. you see that them, 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 them cops behind him, them football player looking cats mm -hmm. that behind. He got like four or five of them to go everywhere he go. Okay. When he's out there at, at dinner with that uh, so called million dollar bag, uh, nobody, nobody messing with me now because you got the police sitting behind you, fool. And, exactly. you know, he, he gets away with that kind of stuff. And, I uh, mean, you know, somebody to pull this, yeah, somebody to gank his chain while he still got a chain to be yanked because at some point in time, Somebody gonna take a somebody gonna use the restroom, they they're gonna take a nap, and somebody might get with him. Yeah. Okay? Here's the deal. Just like you said earlier, you can get around you can get away from it. You're only gonna get away from it 99% of the time. You're and, and all you need is that one percent for somebody to catch you slipping. Just That's day it. one. Just day one. Because the same the same fool the, the same fool that you're trying, the same people you're trying to build a reputation on will build a rep on you. Uh. Okay. Somebody will go to jail proudly, okay, for killing your ass. And that's the someone like this guy. Someone like this guy we just talked about in the last story. Right. He would be the one to kill like, a Takashi Six Nine. Right. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go to jail proudly for it. Okay. Yep. Yep. And he, he hopefully get put in the same module with the cat that homeboy sits on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who was that? Times where you owe my daddy money. Who was Revo ninety five? Times where you owe my daddy money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. Um, <laughs> somebody clowning. Somebody What's up, Mark McBride. Um, McCabe. I'm sorry, McCabe. Uh, I got my folks online. I got my boy Phil Garrard on the line. Yes, I've been doing this since the 80s, Doc, and I'm still doing it and holding it down. Me and my Just for Men and my partner, uh, Dusty Vision, <laughs> we do this every Tuesday. And uh, are we going to do something on New Year's Eve, man? Uh, New Year's Eve is what? Oh, this is the cut. No, I, I'm not free New Year's Eve, man. I, All right, well, I might do something live. I might just hang out by myself. That's a good New idea. Year's That's I a great idea. I might just idea. hang out, do this live, and just call some people up and uh, and hang out for a minute, man. Uh, call, the, the club is called The Hop. Thank you, D Blue. The Hop. The, the Hop. Thank you, D Blue. Yeah. What's up? yeah. Lakewood Hop. Lakewood Hop. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Used to be two of them. They had oh, one, in, um, damn, off the 10 freeway, off the 50 freeway. Um, oh, I know, uh, like by peppers, and I know, yeah, right, are, right, right. These these people, them from their ass, but... down first, and then Lakewood Hop, nice, nice club, big club, held about 600 people, maybe a thousand, yeah. uh, depending on who the promoter was. And, uh, you know, as, as nice as it was, that one night, my boy had it one night a week, and it would be packed. And, um, at some point, time, man, this after police, that's you know. It's a Mexican club now. Yeah, you're right, D Blue. It's a, it's a Mexican club now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey yeah. man, and it sucks because we can't have we can't have anything nice. I remember when I was 13, 14, 15, and there were actually places in Compton to go to hang out. There was an underage club. There were things, but then shit started popping there and getting done you know there. What? We are we are we are our own worst enemies. The same reason, the same reason why when homeboy, what, what Jermaine Dupri said about Atlanta in the mall, mm -hmm. you see, dude, it's a hidden hand that people are not, a, people don't pay, people forget about when it comes to being in business. It's called the insurance companies. Mm. Okay. 
when you have a business, I don't care how, how good your food is, how, how good the movies are, how low the gas is, how good the drinks are. If you can't get a decent insurance rate, you will not be in business. And most of the time, that's what happens. Somebody, a situation may happen and they may have told a hop, just for, exa just for example, oh, you're a Mexican, you're, you're, you're a restaurant Monday through Wednesday, Wednesday through Thursday, Wednesday through uh, Saturday through Wednesday, but on Thursdays, you're this kind of club, okay? Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to raise your insurance for everything. Instead of it being 10000 a year, it's going to be 30000 a year, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, you got to pass the cost on to somebody, okay? Nobody want to pay it. Mm -hmm. And the cold part about it is, it's nobody's fault. It's the outside person's fault that the insurance got raised in the first place. This person who caused the problem ain't nowhere around. But when somebody comes in your facility and get hurt, the owner of the building is responsible. Whether it be a theater, gas station, liquor store, restaurant, nightclub, whatever the case. Ask me how to, I know. Okay. To ask me how I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when somebody does some dumb stuff on your property, you the one got to go to court. You the one got to ask all the questions to police. Plus, plus, every time they uh, they have an incident, they have what they call an incident report. Mm. And that's your um, that's your report card for your for your business. And every time a cop calls, cops get called, it goes in your incident report. Mm. And when that happens, and if you get too many incidents, they shut you down. Ask the House of Blues in Hollywood. Is that what happened to them? House of Blues in Hollywood had too many incidents. Well, every, time, yeah. every time they had a rap show, it would, mm -hmm. be a, it would be a fight or a shooting on Hollywood Boulevard. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, so every time it happens, man, and then when you Dublin. get can even if, 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 if nobody gets, huh? Dublin's was another one. Yeah. Even if nobody gets shot, okay, the, because you have so many incidents, they, they, calculate, they, they calculate the potential of somebody mm -hmm. getting shot. Uh, oh, at some point in time, you keep rolling the dice, you're going to crap out. I don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. You keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. You're going to crap out. So rather than get crap out, they just cancel your ass. Okay? Yeah. Now you got to try and scramble to find somebody who don't know it. That's why if you even, if you even noticed last year, used to be a time Every city had a jazz, so-called jazz concert, right? Mm -hmm. But last year, year before that, they actually had to have jazz artists on the concert because they was doing jazz concerts with R and B acts. Okay, oh. the jazz they would <laughs> never say a rap concert. They ain't gonna <laughs> never say that. Okay. Wow. Then they're not gonna they're not gonna say R and B concert. Okay, they'll say uh -huh. jazz concert because a jazz concert in the minds of the people who are jazz lovers are the commonest people of all. That's the lowest insurance rate you can get. Okay, wow. if you say R and B, goes they, up a little bit. It's gonna go up a little bit. Okay, uh -huh. but they're not sure about R and B because yeah. R &B pretty much is black. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's predominantly black. Okay, if they say uh rap it's a rap okay <laughs> the insurance go through the roof security go through the roof the mm -hmm. rent go through the roof the permits go through the roof because they don't they, everything they they, they prepare they prepare for the problem you ever see those um go to the forum and see the see the paddy wagons waiting oh man all the time you waiting uh-huh only on rap concerts though uh -huh. You don't see them for Journey or uh, Prince or whoever else. But you don't see it like that. You only see them yeah. for concerts. Mm. They waiting on them to act the locust and drop your ass off. Get another, get, come get another bus load. Okay, somebody. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> my boy asked Lazo, "Do you have any scary stories?" I saw a video where you said that you felt weird vibes when you and Yella were doing. Me and Yella wasn't doing no porn, dude. <laughs> we were not doing porn. Yella rented my studio to do porn. I wasn't a partner. I was just a a a, 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 a vendor, oh, a yeah, vendor, yeah. vendor, and I, I rented my facility to do porn. And it just it was awkward, man, because there were some pretty women here. And I was like, damn, you know. 
I had a conversation the other day with a young lady, and we were talking about um, sex workers. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, I I get confused maybe maybe because I'm an old dude I'm an older dude, and but I've always been under the impression that we were supposed to look out for women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, we, we supposed, they supposed to take care of your women and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. But how do you take care of women if they don't put themselves in a position to be taken care of, or if they're so independent, or if they just oh, be careful. Yeah, I got. You see, I'm thinking. You Be see, careful. I can't say what I'm thinking. Okay, <laughs> but it just—it's like you know. I got. Because I feel where you're going. Because I feel where you're going. I got three daughters. Okay, uh-huh. I'll kill and die for uh, either any one of them. Okay, mm-hmm. I'll kill and die for either either one of them. Okay, because I know what kind of I know what kind of girls I raised. Okay, I I know what I'm working with. Okay, um. It just is. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just. It's just kind of the, the 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 philosophy that sometimes women have about themselves. Mm-hmm. You you, you want to be protected with the Me Too movement, but you want to have the right to do the slut walk. Well, it's always been that's always been my thing. Do women want equality or do they want favoritism? Right. Oh, thank you. Thank I'll you. say it for you. I'll thank say it for you. you. Thank you. <laughs> right, because we, we, if we talk about child support. You know, fifty percent of a man's income, he's a millionaire. You're getting fifty hundred fifty thousand dollars a year child support, okay? And for some people, that's a good hustle. Mm, man, good hustle, okay? And and, and 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 the cold part about it is, you can lie if you can get that get a default judgment, and that dude they just taking his money out of his out of his account. Eighteen years later, find out it's not his kid. There's oh. no refunds, no repercussions, okay? So it, it it's a perfect crime. And there's never been any repercussions for 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 the, for the men who have been misused, okay? It, for the men, it, there's no justice for that, okay? Uh, uh, not to be mean, go ahead. But have, not to be mean, but I'm sure you've been around a guy, and he introduces you to his son, and in your head you're like, "Dog, there's no way that's your kid." Right, <laughs> right, 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 and right, he right, does, right, hey, right. He feels, hey, that's you, Playboy. Right, right. So. <laughs> You know, it's you know, uh, my man said, uh, Rebel Nine Five said he wanted to hear a scary story. Let somebody tell your ass she pregnant today, bro. You're gonna be scared of the son of a gun, okay? I'm about a scary story. That's gonna scare the hell out your ass. One of my fears, and I've been with my my girl for quite a minute now, so the the kid would have to be older. But one of my fears is that, oh, maybe five years ago, more like it, is that someone would knock on my door and say, "Hey, Dad." Just from some I did, you know, twenty one years ago, just some random shit. So, been there, done that. That's a t shirt. Oh. Oh. But you know what though, I, 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 did, I did, it didn't so much. It didn't so much. Uh, somebody said, "Hey, Dad," I said, "Hey, come here. You look just like me." <laughs> <laughs> and it was that's all it was. It, it wasn't. Uh, okay. It wasn't. No, it was a surprise. It, it was. A, it was an expected surprise. Okay. I'm gonna mm-hmm. be like that. I ain't gonna put my business out in the street like that. But uh, it, was, it, it was a pleasant surprise, Doc. You know, yeah. some, you know oh, sometimes yeah. sometimes it happens like that because I wasn't I ready. Would I would I wouldn't have been ready no other way. Mm. Okay, I wouldn't have been ready no other way. Uh, just like some dudes get into uh, drug dealing, it's fast money. Yeah, it, it's fast. It is fast money uh, at, at at the expense of at somebody else's life, which is kind of which I think is kind of wrong. If you love somebody and it don't work out and you have a kid together, I understand. But just because the man make good money and that that's the part that's the part I think this that I find to be um, you know I, I find to be kind of unfair. Just because the man makes money, he, he's lucky enough to get pregnant by him, all of a sudden um, he becomes a, 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 a ATM machine slash a, a annuity plan. And that ain't cool. Yeah. Cause nobody wins. The kid don't win. Dad don't win. And you ain't gonna win. You get a couple of dollars for a few years, but you, you get paid for a few years. But you know, most of the time, once at on the eighteenth birthday, you go back to being broke because most of the mm-hmm. chicks, they, facts, facts. You know, the kid ain't got no money. You had a good time for eighteen years. Now you got to go find a job or get pregnant again by another baller. What a life, man! What a life. 
Uh, oh, my man B1 says, when I first saw uh, Me Too, I thought it meant proud to uh, uh, a pound of Me Too. Oh, I, I thought it meant pound Me Too. Oh, yeah, <laughs> pound oh, Me Too. We used to say pound, right? Remember we used yeah. to say pound, pound. Oh, yeah. We used to say right. pound. Yeah, kids don't understand what the hell we're talking about. Now it's, yeah. Yeah, now it's hashtag, but kids, if you're 40 and over, we still call that shit a pound. Right. <laughs> yeah, anyway, what, what we got next, Doc? Well, shit, man, Chicago is one of the the, the, the areas that are just dumping the, the BS this week. Um, so we talked about Takashi 6 9 Lil Durk's album coming out. Lil Durk actually had a line on his album where he's dissing FBG Duck, which is someone that you and I have talked about in the past. FBG Duck was another Chicago rapper who was killed in a very trendy part of Chicago. And Lil Durk released a song, and he said something like, I'm getting high as F smoking on that duck so you guys let it rhyme out there but um his mom feg duck's mom came out and and said how could you ruin my christmas like that and and it, it just sucks because these kids these guys can't rest in peace because these rappers are still putting their names in their songs after they're dead well you know what man i think that's something i think that's um a lot of the stuff is media driven too man you know um the media uh Facebook, Instagram, everybody um um makes a shitload of money off of all the, the traffic that they get from these guys doing this kind of stuff. And you know, it's profitable for them in some way, form of fashion. And it's disrespectful as hell. It's disrespectful as hell, but it's still there's there's a benefit for it, you know, and that's the part, you know, because you know, like they say on YouTube, and I was going to my YouTube class, whatever. YouTube don't care whether it's um, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's a reaction, okay? Mm-hmm. You know, they don't care whether it's a like or a dislike. It's a reaction. That means somebody took time to see what you were saying and, um, and uh, you know, and uh, didn't, you know, commented on it. So a comment's a comment. Um, it, it's just, you know, it's, it's just un, un, um, unfortunate, man, that folks don't have the, the – uh, no real nuts, just just to let a man rest in peace, dude. You know, yeah. and, and you know, and that's I think that's the lowest form of kicking a man when he's down, when he's gone. You know, I've had a few buddies that that I've had some issues when they were alive, and it's hard to speak on them, even though what I'm saying is true because they're not here anymore to defend themselves. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, and to really, you know, um, that was somebody if somebody was to hurt this guy that's talking about you know smoking on whatever the case may be. Uh, his mom, if somebody is, is, and somebody do the same thing to him, his mom is going to uh, have a problem. And it's mm-hmm. just amazing, man. Like these people act like there's only them in the world. Yeah, there's no parents, there's no kids, there's no loved ones that give a damn about these people that they're talking about. And you know, you may have a cousin or a young brother, just like you, just like back in the uh, with the, um, that mafia movie I like so much, where the son came back and oh, killed yeah. that sixteen years later. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Dude, you play you 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 playing with some high level emotions here, and people don't forget. Yeah. Don't forget. Yep. Exactly. Dude, that's another common denominator that that I'm. Okay. Just because you forgot about it doesn't mean the no. other person is going to forget about it. Right. You could tomorrow, next year, Alonzo. You can change if this if this uh, little dirt could change his whole life. Go to church, become the biggest Christian ever, feed the homeless, blah blah blah. But you know what? Three years later, he's still living that life. But someone who remembers what he said back in 2020, he don't give a damn that he's living a good life now. He's still hurt by what he said about his brother. Yeah. And he's going to shoot you four years later. Right. You know, I got a, uh, somebody, uh, this, uh, Chauncey, uh, asked me about, do I know, uh, he re- recently got deep into DJ Quick's music. Mm. Uh, you have any history with Quick? Yeah, I have history with Quick. Quick, Quick was a youngster. Uh, when I first, when I, not when I first got in the game, but he was he was um, young, wild dude like everybody else. But he had the funkiest dance music that ever came out of Compton. The funkiest dance music that ever came out of Compton. And last one of the times I was talking to Quick, he says lines. He says, "Man, I used to come to Dudos when I was like fourteen and fifteen and watch you and Dre them do y'all thing at Dudos. You are inspiration to me for being who you are in the hood." Um, and it, it, uh, he gives me a lot of credit for inspiring him. I never have, I don't have any personal history with his music, 
But he gives mm-hmm. him a lot of credit for inspiring him uh, to be that, you know, to do what he did. And quick, you know, I know Dre got the most money, but when it comes to the talent, quick, the, what I got to give it to Quick, man. I, quick, I listen yeah. to Quick's music yeah. all. I, I told Quick. Yeah. I told Quick last time I saw him, dude, you're hitting it. Y'all may not like this, but I got to tell you, your music is too good for hip hop. Your music is too, it's not too good, but it could be better if it was more art. It was more, he had more RB art, more well, RB, you know R&B production. Huh? You notice, you notice he went down that route. He was doing a lot of RB with 112 and, you know, a lot. He did a lot of RB there for yeah, a second. Yeah. And it, it, it just, you know, it's it just, uh, everybody don't have a hit record, but I can, I've, I've, I have a lot of his music. And he's the one of the few guys that can actually make an instrumental I can I can jam to. I mean, he mm-hmm. makes those uh, instrumental songs. Yeah, he always uh, puts the album. Man, yeah, he always puts those, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a, I got a whole file just of those alone, man. Just, yeah. just for those. Um, you know, he says he says uh, I've been listening to his music, his albums. I can't believe he's not bigger than what not a bigger artist. You know what? Yeah, uh, one time he was the bit. He was huge at one time. It was all about quick, man. Like for a minute, it was yeah. He uh, not to not to down what the person said, but just so you know, there was a time. Let's go from ninety to a good two thousand two. Yeah, DJ Quick was consistent every single year, dropping a platinum and or a gold album. Not just with his music, but working with others. DJ right. Quick has done so much music for people that you don't even know. He's done music that was credited from Dr. Dre doing. Right. DJ Quick did that. Right, I mean, so, right. Yeah, so do a little bit more digging. You'll enjoy. You you will love going down that rabbit hole of DJ Quick. And I get excited because I love DJ Quick's music. He, 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 and I had a, he and I had it uh had a conversation one time. We were talking about somebody was talking about him versus Dre. I said, you know what? I said, you know, one thing I can say about Quick, I can't go back and find his music anywhere else. Okay, I can't find where he got his music from. Okay, oh, okay, gotcha. There's there's a Facebook there's a YouTube channel the samples all, the samples all the I samples that Dre grabbed love that to make to make the chronic and make doggy That's style whatever the case may be uh-huh. uh, I, but quick he may have a couple of those but not a whole lot okay yeah. his career was not built on that okay um, uh, DJ Pool is OG too by, by all means uh, dope musician and compo- composer I think he should be a full jazz album crazy talent. Uh, yeah, the, the dude's definitely talented. And you never know somebody like Quick. You know, he he, he may just drop uh, a quick jazz album and get with somebody like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, a George Kenny Benson G. or something like that. <laughs> He's worked with Kenny G before, so you never know. They could drop a dual album. <laughs> Do I know anything about the uh, rape allegations made to Ren? I saw Ooh. a whole new clip that he someone claimed Ren raped him back in the day at a concert. Uh, I, don't, I don't see that happening. I'm sorry. I don't see that happening. If it, if I've never heard that before, um, it may be somebody look like Ren. Ren is probably the quietest, coolest cat of in. You know, if you get, think about this, you don't see Ren, Ren nowhere. No. Nah. Mm. Okay, Ren interviews nothing. Ren is the most laid back member of NWA. Mm. Okay, uh, I think Ren been married. Um, uh, uh, I think Ren been married for, for most of the time in NWA. I know you're Muslim. So oh, no, 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 no. I don't. I've never heard any allegations about Ren raping anybody. Nah, mm. case, I can't say that. Mm. Hey, Tracy, how you doing, baby? Um, Pimp Plays Hustlers Network said no. Nah, Ren did. Ren, Ren didn't. I'm, I'm, ro- I'm rolling with them on that one. Mm. I, I can't. I don't. You know, you never know about somebody, but I wouldn't have bet Ren didn't do that. Okay, mm. if it was, it was. You know, somebody else might have been. A little Ren, uh, baby Ren, or some shit like that. You know, niggas. We everybody want to grab them, them little sub names and throw a title in front of your name, Sir Ren. Uh, I don't, not not the Ren from NWA. I, don't, uh, I, I know this. Is, I know this is a weird question, but just answer this question for me because as a hip hop fan, I have to know. I never asked you this, and it just popped in my head. When I was a kid, Ren, just from his voice, his lyrics, his hardness, he he was ten feet tall to me. He, I was. I'm, I'm confident Ren is at least six four, six five. Yeah, my tripliners ran like five three. <laughs> ran like five seven, five Damn. eight. Ah. <laughs> Damn. Ran. Uh, think about it. nobody. Dre is the tallest one in the NWA. Dre okay. is six two. Everybody okay. else is five eight and younger and smaller. Mm. Okay. Cube is like five eight five nine. Yellow yeah. 
nickname. Easy was like five, six, five, seven. Um, and Ren was right there with him. Okay. Oh well. There goes my uh thing. <laughs> hey, this is my this can you see that screen? You see my screen? Yeah, I can, but I can't really tell what it is, but I can see it. Yeah. What it is is uh my 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 next t shirt idea. Okay. Okay. Lonzo the Godfather West Coast Hip Hop. Ah. And that's my that's my flow chart. It's called the Crew Cut Clan. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I can picture that. The Crew Cut Clan. Yeah, picture it, shows, that. it shows all the things I've been involved in for the last past 40 years and all the things that came from what I came from what I did, from Dudo to all the acts I've influenced and you know, from, from crew cut records and NWA, the Eminem, blah 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 blah. That's just something I'm working on. It. I have I have T-shirts available shortly. Shortly. No, oh, actually, that's dude. Let's connect. I, I know a couple of people who who can do some art for you. I have a shirt similar to that, but not on that concept. That you may want to see it. That, that's dope, actually. I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I like that because I I did want it to be a little bit more colorful. Colorful. It's I mean it's cool, but I I I wanted to be more on the same line as the, as the logo. Be more uh more okay. light hearted. You we'll know, talk off, man. We'll talk off. We'll definitely do that. How much time okay. we got? Uh, shit, I got about 15 more minutes. If you cool. got that. I'm good. All I'm right. good. All right. Well, shit, let's keep on, man, because Chicago, like I said, is bringing it this week. And um, King Von's son got an interesting present from his aunt this Christmas. Okay. From his auntie, uh, King Von, the kid who was just shot in Chicago not too long ago. Uh, his son got a toy Glock for Christmas. I saw that. Aunt. And this is a real replica toy Glock, like the ones you see in the movies. I, I, I have no words. What do you have? Because I'm lost for words. You know what, man? Um, why that was somebody thought that was a good idea? I don't know. But uh, a lot of people don't really take time to think long term. They think short term, uh, or they could just be thinking. For the Instagram right now, Doc, because they got us talking about it. Okay, yeah. A lot of times, um, um, a lot of times, people do things, especially nowadays, just to get the conversation, the likes, the shares, good, bad, or indifferent. Like I said earlier, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they don't care. They don't care. Long as long as somebody takes time to respond, or if you can get a response change going about how how stupid that is. That's cool because, you know. Same reaction. Same reaction. reaction. Okay. Reaction. You know, um, I uh, I uh, I did a thing one time. Um, I went to the swap meet and I noticed that the swap meet, the Gardena swap meet, at one time, there was a, one stand in there. They sold switchblades, brass mm. knuckles, mm. BB guns without the orange chips on them. I, uh, they still Knuckle knives, okay. What in, in, in any one of these things? Yep. Get you a case, okay. Switchblade get you a case. Brass knuckles to get you. I got a pair. Of, I bought a pair of brass knuckles from them, just so I can show what you can buy from the swap meet. Mm -hmm. Brass knuckles are a felony, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you if you use them, okay. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, same thing with a play, and um, to have these BB guns that look just like nine millimeters Glocks, whatever the case may be, and all you gotta do is be eighteen to buy one. Okay, no orange tips, no nothing. Mm. Um, I often wondered what was the purpose of having a BB gun that looked that real. What's so you can rock, so you can do crime. Okay, so you can do crime. Um, there BB guns. First of all, to shoot a BB gun in the city limits, you get the same charge as you do with a pistol. Really? See that? I didn't see. You're teaching me shit you tonight. Can't, I would. You I can't. Don't can't BB guns. You I used can't, to shoot BB guns. So when I was shooting BB guns at eleven, huh? Mm. When I was a kid. No. So when I was shooting BB guns, go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. When I, when I was a kid, I, shot, I had I had two or three. I had BB guns too. I, mine had to be pumped up, yeah. okay, or the CO two yeah. cartridge, okay. Now, yeah, this yeah. Bow, 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 okay. We used to shoot birds. We would mm -hmm. shoot birds, okay, on, mm -hmm. on, on all the lines, and then sometimes we shoot rats because we had <laughs> <laughs> we literally had we had rats. We had, where I lived at when I was a kid, 
I lived not far from the horse stables, okay? And when they tore the horse stables down, the rats would cross the street sometimes. And mm-hmm. sometimes they crossed the lines, the, the telephone lines. Yeah. yeah. You got there walking, and we'd be bucking at them, bow, bow. They'd be ducking in the shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, dude. Uh, it was crazy. It's real shit. Um, and uh, one time we got caught. I was, you know, we, 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 to, we had a place called a rabbit field. Um, across the street from my house, off of Main Street, it's all factory bees. Now we go there hunting rabbits and hunting, you know, we never caught shot yet, but we got caught with the BB guns and the cops mm-hmm. took them from us, took us home and told our moms, hey man, they can't do this. They, you know, you can't have BB, you know, you know, BB guns is basically for out in the woods. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. We went, we, we in the city. They yeah. gave it back to us, but they took us home and uh, hey, gave us gave us a long speech. But I I do believe as of right now, having a BB possession of a BB gun will get you the same case mm-hmm. as having a pistol. Wow, interesting. Learn something new every day. Damn. Yep, that's right. So that's hey, okay. how you doing, baby? Mm-hmm. Uh, Trevor Rice got killed by the police uh, playing with a, in a park with a toy gun. He was twelve years old. You're absolutely right. So for somebody. That's another reason you don't want to give a little kid a toy gun like that. Because these cops ain't asking questions. My son, my son plays paintball. And I I swore his ass to um never take this thing out. If you leave the house with it, put it in the case, put it in the trunk. Don't be outside playing with it. Cause yeah. no. I, I think that's, that, that's not even a reason. That's an excuse. Mm-hmm. That's an excuse to put a bullet in your ass, okay? Not even a reason, it's an excuse. I Ooh, thought, I true. thought. I mean, this brother Ooh. got killed the other day. He was um, in his garage, had a cell phone. A hot, hot cell phone looked like a, looked like a gun. It's beyond me, but it's a dead man because he had a cell phone in his hand. Mm. You heard about that one? No, but you know brother what? After was, the- somebody yeah. called, it was, it was a non-violent police call. Somebody wow. made, a, uh, made a call to the police. Brother, uh, I guess he pulled in his garage, walking out, walking out of his garage with a cell phone in his hand, and somebody shot and, ca- ca- shot and killed him. Mm. Okay. I don't know if it's I'm so numb. To, after that one where the cop actually walked into someone else's house and killed them in their own house, yeah. like everything's numb to me. I'm just numb to this. Like, are you kidding me? That's crazy. You can't even walk around with a cell phone. Right. Right. You can't sleep in your own bed. So yeah, Doc. Um, for somebody for somebody to give a uh, kid a gun in this climate, you know mm-hmm. that's almost setting them up. That's set, setting them up for failure, man. That's you know? it. You know, um, it's setting them up for failure, Doc. And it makes no yeah. sense to somebody. Would even, and, uh, but again, sometimes the pursuit of internet internet fa- um, attention will override common sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Common sense would say that's not a good idea. But if I do this, I can get all kind of attention on social media. Because I, this ain't, you ain't the first person that's, I, I saw this today on, on another feed. Okay. So it's definitely out there. So the same guy, some somebody thought it was a good idea. It was funny. It was smart. It was clever. It was branding, whatever you want to call it, to give this young kid a, 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 a replica of a nine millimeter. Knowing that his uncle was his uncle or his dad it just got killed. Uh, his uncle, uh, yeah, it was his uncle, I believe. His uncle that just got killed a few weeks ago um, at the hands of somebody doing something ignorant. Man, I don't know what I don't know what to tell you, Doc. I don't know what to tell you. I want to tell you. All I say, all I say when I do my show, and and I'm sure this is how you feel with your show as well. All I'm saying is, I hope we can at least change one life. Just if one motherfucker listens to something you just said tonight and doesn't go out there and do something stupid, then your job is done. Well, you know what, dude? I uh, that's why I'm 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 doing what I'm doing. I was telling my people today, uh, we got we got to get on board and get out because folks out here. I mean, I, like I said today, I saw today, man. I think it was like 27 murders in the last past seven, eight days, something like that. Crazy, you oh, know, man. 27 murders in the last seven or eight days. I mean, um. Mm. I know everybody's stressed out. Everybody's tired of being locked up, whatever the case may be. But I tell you what, mess around and get caught for a murder. You think you locked up now? Exactly. You think you locked up now? Okay. Mess around and catch you with one of them fat ass cases. 
with a lo- with a long term and see how see how cooped coop up your ass going to be uh, when you start to get twenty five to life. So yeah. that's why um, good peace is very important. You know, it's a community move and it's a community a community campaign, and you will see us January five one whatever the case may be. Uh, we take it to the streets, Doc, because we yeah. got to we got to make people more aware that black lives have to matter to us first. Yes. Black lives have black lives, brown lives, all lives have to matter to us first, but ours have to matter first because we're the only ones that have a genre of music that's dedicated to our own annihilation that we think is so dope. Yeah. I know people are gonna say, oh, that, he just old. Yeah, I know, but I'm just trying, I'm just trying to pull your chain on something, folks. You know, dead is dead. Whether it be by the by the hand of the police or a brother in the streets, dead is dead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Trust me. And you know, uh, maybe because there ain't no money in it, that's why you don't see the same reaction that you do when the cop brothers get shot by the police. Ain't nobody gonna sue Junebug or Bebe or Ron Ron or whoever the case may be a, a little uh little knucklehead. But when the police do it, he got the city behind him with a check coming. I'm just saying, I could be wrong, but you know. Ain't no, I ain't never seen none of them cats out here in the streets when brothers in the streets be getting, you know, have their problems. I don't mm. see Crump. I don't see none. Of them. I don't see none of them. Okay, Man. but let let let, 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 let cop somebody. Oh, they they gonna be right there. Mm. They gonna be right there. So it is what it is, folks. But we have to. We that's something we have to do on our own. We can't let any. We can't depend on somebody else to come to our community and clean it up. If they do, they're going to do it their way. Mm. You don't want that. Last okay. two minutes gave me goosebumps, man. That's that's about the realest, realest shit you've ever said. That's that's, that's in a nutshell. That's it, dude. I mean, if we, wanna, if we, gonna, if we want the hood cleaned up. We have to do it. And if not, you're going to get green lighted by people who are tired. Okay? If the right people get tired enough, they gonna come in with them boots, and them tanks, and them trucks, and them bad attitudes, and a whole lot of folks gonna get a whole lot of unnecessary headaches, a whole bunch of false cases, and they'll clean it up. They're gonna do it their way though, and they're gonna be the only ones that win. It's gonna be a handful of people left in the community that's still gonna win, but for the most part, the the, the majority of us we're not gonna win, okay? Because mm-hmm. they're gonna cheat no matter what, okay? They got all, you ain't got enough money to fight fight, fight enough fight them cases. Damn, dude. That's the best way to end it right there, my man. I have nothing else unless you have something else you wanted to cover. That that was a great portrait that you painted, man. I appreciate it, Doc. I think that's it for the day, man. And no, I didn't kick back. I didn't kick back Mr. Rogers back in the day. I don't know what he's talking about. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey folks, you're live with Lonzo and my man Dusty Vision. We do this every Tuesday. Uh we're probably yeah, yeah, we'll be we, we, we back next Tuesday. We do this every Tuesday. We just talk about issues in the hood and communities. This, the country, the world, and we start with hip hop, and we take the rest of the world by the horns, and we see what we can come up with. And we try to drop a little game in the meantime. So, um, yeah, you do. Uh, huh? You do drop game, and that's the main thing, man. Before we go, can I give a couple Please. of shout outs really quick to a couple of supporters of my program, Dusty Vision TV? First off, I got to say shout out to Fathers in Hip Hop, my boy Jeff Smith, a great organization that he's running. Fathers are an important addition to a family so we need to stop subtracting them from our family so fathers in hip-hop i definitely recommend you all check out my boy jess smith and i want to give a shout out to my homegirl Juanita rogers she's been a supporter of mine for such a long time she just released her first novel it's called diamonds on a black sheet and it is some of the most dopest poetry that you will read it's really really dope so please check her out Juanita rogers diamonds on a black sheep that just came in today and secondly someone i've interviewed on my show a couple of times a real interest, interesting gentleman there was a big news story about him back in 1994 where he shot a couple of usc students and paralyzed and it was just a big news story all across the country and it really it was probably one of the one of the precursors or the reasons why the uh the, the joe biden uh you know started that that uh bill but um it's called the journey of frank anton lewis uh, he's a former crenshaw mafia gang member who went to prison at was well, went to jail for shooting someone at age 14 while he was high off sherm two usc students 
And it's such an interesting story. I want to encourage you guys to check it out. It's The Journey of Frank Anton Lewis. And you can check both of them out on Amazon. You can find both of these books. Just wanted to give those shots out because those two people have been really awesome supporters. And I, I know your audience, Alonzo, would enjoy those books. All right. Thank you very much. Doc. Look here, man. Also, check out my website for my book, NWA, Not Without Alonzo, my comic book, my T-shirts. Thank you very much, Dusty Vision. Yes, also, sir. Folks, if y'all ain't doing nothing about, yeah, about 11.45 on Thursday, I think I'm going to go live and just call some people up. So, you know what? Give me a call. I'll jump on with you. I'll, I'll leave I'm you call some people up and you. see what their New Year's resolution is, what they're praying for, for 2021. I have a good time. We'll probably be on the air about 15 minutes just hanging out, folks, doing what we do. In the meantime, folks, y'all stay cool. Stay COVID free. Much love, Dusty Vision. Thank you all for watching. Please, y'all, like, share, subscribe, and tell a friend. We do this every Tuesday, y'all. In the meantime, this is Lonzo, the Godfather of the West Coast, hip-hop from the West Coast to the East Coast, and everything in between, folks, from the pig in the park to the eve after dark. Still the Godfather, baby. We're out of here, y'all. Peace. Peace, man.